Welcome back to another tutorial today. So today we're going to be looking at stacking faults in Vesta using FCC metals. So this is a nice uh, photo that, no, 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 sorry, this is a nice paper that uh, one of my subscribers showed me. And basically what they do in this paper is they use lamps to generate these huge uh, models and look at stacking faults. Now, obviously, I, I, well, I don't think uh, Vesta can handle these huge systems. I think maybe in principle it can handle this one. But when you get much bigger than this, it'll start to break down. But anyways, uh, we can handle smaller systems. Uh, so I'm going to show you today how to go from A to B. This will be the first video in a mini video series. And so here you can see in A, we have this uh, perfect sort of FCC crystal. And then what we do is we shift these top two layers and it makes sort of a twin boundary here. That is, uh, the twin boundary has like a mirror plane across this black line. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and make this for the aluminum. So here I have uh, alu an aluminum system and materials project. It's just your standard kind of FCC crystal. So what I'm going to do first is uh, download the system by selecting Civ, conventional standard, and opening this in Vesta. Okay. <clears throat> so you can see here I have our system. And the first thing we're going to have to do is transform this FCC system into a new unit cell where the 111 face is exposed. Because you can see here we have this 111 plane up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So how do you transform the FCC crystal to the so the, the 111 plane is sort of you know locked internally in this crystal. So what we need to do is reformulate the crystal such that the 111 plane is exposed because naturally the 111 plane is not exposed. It's the exposed planes are this sort of 001 plane here, the 010 plane here, and in the A direction it's actually this uh, 100 plane. So what you could do is you could do an elaborate slab cutting procedure as I've shown in many videos to find the transformation matrix, but I've already done this so many times for FCC crystals that I actually already know the transformation matrix. So if I go to edit, edit data, unit cell, and I go to transform, I can actually type in the transformation matrix. So you can just type this in now. So it's this top left block is uh, 0 0.5s with this middle being negative 0 0.5. In the bottom left, put a negative one. And in this uh, column here, have it all ones. Now select OK, and then select yes through the prompts. When you get to this third prompt, select the middle option to search atoms in the new unit cell and add them as new sites. I select OK, select Apply, and OK. So now let's select A, and you can see here now we have a crystal, so this, so take note of these kind of strong diagonal looking features. If we go back to the paper, you can see these strong diagonal features here. So now what we need to do is have, make it to the bottom layer is five atoms wide, uh, and we also need to add vacuum. So first thing we're going to do is let's head back to Vesta and let's just save this. So I'll file export data. I'll export this as a, uh, let me see, stacking fault. And we will export it as, here you can see I already had one made. So I would save it as aluminum 111 and then I'm going to go as the VASP file and save this. So we'll replace it, and I'm going to save it in the fractional coordinates because it doesn't matter right now. Then let's go ahead and open this up. Let me uh, delete this. I do it with Command W on a Mac. You do it with Control W on a window. Suck now. So now let's go to A. So now what we need to do is uh, we need to add, we need to expand it to have the five atoms on the bottom and add vacuum. So the first thing we're going to do is go back to edit, edit data, unit cell, and we're going to transform, but here we're just going to put a two in the A dimension. Select OK, yes, search atoms to the new unit cell, yes, apply. So now you can see you have the five atoms here, just like they do. Let's go back to our paper. So five atoms along the bottom, four diagonals, here you can see. So now what we need to do is we need to add vacuum. Now we're going to add vacuum along C. So let's go ahead and first, first we're going to save this. We're going to file, export data. Let's go ahead and export it as a, um, 
AL111. Um, I'll call it uh, five, at, five atoms. And we're going to save this as a VASP. So go ahead and do save. Here that's it's okay to save it in uh, fractional coordinates as well. Then what we're going to do is, I actually should have saved it in Cartesian, but it's not a problem. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click C, because this is where we're going to add vacuum. But if we're going to add vacuum, we're going to have to save a file first as an XYZ, and then we're going to paste those coordinates into the VASP file we just saved. So what we want to do is, if we're going to save something as an XYZ in VESTA, it saves every atom to the screen. So every atom you see on the screen, it will save as coordinates. And obviously, if we want to add vacuum in the C, we don't want to save the periodic replica of the atoms in A and B, right? So we're just going to delete the periodic, any periodic replicas occurring in B and any periodic replicas occurring in A. So now you can see that we only have uh, unique atoms in A and B, and we save the periodic replica in C because we're adding the vacuum there, okay? So now what we do is we go to File, Export Data, and we can export this as a XYZ. So AL111, five atoms, but we export it as an XYZ. Save, uh, no. Okay, so now what we can do is head over to PyCharm, where I have this, and let's go ahead and pull up our VASP and our XYZ. You can see our XYZ has 16 atoms. Go ahead and copy these and paste them into the VASP that we had saved. So this AL now has to be 16, and you can just come through and delete these aluminum. You could do a find and replace, where you find all AL space space, and then replace them, but I just can delete them for now. And then we're gonna add 20 angstroms of vacuum, so I'll tune this to a 26. And the last thing we have to do is change direct to Cartesian. So we should have saved it as Cartesian before. So let's go ahead now and reopen this file in PyCharm. So we're gonna open the five atoms VASP. Select A. And you can see now we have our proper system. Okay, good. This is a good spot to be at. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to have to make the stacking fault. So let's go to PyCharm. So, so oh, sorry, now that we have this, we're going to save this as direct. So now we export data and we're going to go to five atoms direct, save it as a VASP, and then keep it as fractional coordinates. Now this is important because it makes it really easy to shift the coordinates. Now all we need to do is shift this top layer so that it's exactly, has the same A value as this bottom layer. So let's go back to PyCharm, go into our five atoms direct. Our five atoms direct now, what I'm gonna do is organize the, by, these by their C values. So here I'm just going through and finding all the C values that have a certain uh, number. So you can see that now the last four have this 0.259. So this 0.259 will correspond to these atoms in the top here, okay? So now let's go ahead and do that for the 0.17. Okay. And we'll do the same thing for this 0.08. This is the, uh, the first layer above the bottom. Okay, so now we have our system. Now what we need to do is we're going to shift the second highest layer so that it has the same A value as the lowest layer, okay? So simply just copy these like this. So two to here, this one to here, and then finally this one to here. Now let's go back and open. And you can see now in the middle we have this shifted atoms. Now all we need to do is shift this over 
by a little bit. So the amount equal to half this distance. So this atom has zero in A. This atom has this in A. So let's compute this. Oh, sorry. Sometimes my Mac does this. We basically need to compute half of this 0.16. So it looks like it'll be about 0.08 something. Now let's let this wheel of death spin for a little bit. I think there's some bug. Okay. Oh, come on. So it's point. Okay, I can just type it manually. So what I need is 0 0.16667 divided by 2. So I need to add this value to all of the A components in this in this layer. Let's go back to PyCharm. So that that top layer has the highest C value. So what I need to do is now add uh, plus 0 0.75. So this will be the first one. Now I need to do the same thing for all of these, essentially. So let's have this. Where is this? Plus, uh, well, let me just do this again. So 0 0.16667 divided by 2 plus this. So it is obviously a little tedious, uh, but, you know, it, it is what it is, right? So let's do 0 0.16667 divided by 2 plus 0 0.5. And then finally, we just need to do, uh, and we can just paste this here. Now, I think this would be easier in Excel or with a Python script, uh, but I'm just showing you how to do it here. So now when we reopen here, you can see that we have in fact created uh, the stacking fault that we need. So let's go ahead and take a little snippet of this. Okay, let's pull it up. Now uh, what you can see is that we have in fact created uh, this structure here, this B structure. Now if we had wanted to add more layers, like let's say we wanted 10 layers below, 10 layers above, then all you have to do is come back to this system here. Okay. And simply go to edit, uh, edit data, unit cell, and then expand in C. So let's say we added four to C. Okay, um, what you could then do is use one of these internal layers to make the structure, okay? Um, you could expand it more. So here would be your bigger, bigger crystal with which you could do that with. Okay, so each one of these is the 111 plane, essentially. Uh, let's go ahead and open our, this is our original 111. You can even do it on this level if you wanted to. So you would go to, I, I press Command E, by the way, to open this. So if you're on Windows, it's Control E. If you're on Mac, it's Command E, and it opens up. So unit cell transform. Let's go five by five by five. Okay. Yes. So you would basically start with this structure and you would just shift uh, these two layers here. Oops. Yeah, you would shift these two layers. Okay. Uh, same same exact procedure. Anyways, this is the uh, first stacking fault in this series. All right, take care, everyone.